quick video walk around of Von Trapp. Seems the sun's come out. So the colour is carbon metallic schwartz, which sounds like it should be black, but it's actually um, more like a midnight blue, and it really does pop when uh, when the sun hits it. Just about, if you have a look at my website, you can see how much bodywork is being done on this car to get it as straight as it is. And you can probably see by the reflection of the clouds how nice that paint job is. So the wheels are actually um, a sort of tribute to the Alpina wheels. Uh, they're a three piece um, custom made. Uh, the centers come from Germany, um, had the rims, um, hoops turned here in, in Australia. They're a 17 inch, um, eights on the front, oh, there's eights, I think it's eights on the front, seven, eight and a half on the rear. Uh, the lights on the front are um, actually off a later BMW E34, just like the halos. Uh, this is an original sunroof car. It's a manual sunroof. Right, I'm going to just open the door and let's have a look inside. So all, all of the interior is Italian leather. Um, it's a kind of Rolls Royce red. We've got the um, original Petri steering wheel, which are pretty rare and very expensive. Air conditioning. So I've used the original air conditioning evaporator, but the um, condenser and the compressor are all new. Five-speed gearbox. Uh, the radio is actually um, an original Frankfurt, but it's been um, digitized. So Chrome London actually rebuild these things. So they're all Bluetooth, hands-free, uh, digital internals. A lot of work on the on the glove box. They, they, they were just an awful fit from the factory. Um, so I actually did a lot of fiberglass work to make that actually as it should be. And obviously all trimmed in black leather. Um, speaker down there, actually has a speaker grill off an E-type Jag. Uh, it was to match uh, the custom made real ones that I made, which I'll show you in a second. Um, later, handbrake off uh, E34, uh, e four I think, maybe an E28. Um, but the E9 one was pretty, well, it's basically pants. So uh, that's a lot better to stop the car. All the door trims, all the wood, sorry, I forgot to mention the wood. Um, that's all been re-veneered and it's all in French walnut. So there's a little man in Budapest that does that for me. Um, so I've kept true to the original door cards, but just in leather, and obviously that top is vinyl because it's embossed. I don't think you can see that with the original embossing. And the rear seats, just, just absolutely stunning. So you can see those. So it's all real inertia belts. Front and rear, uh, made by a company in um, in the UK called Quick Fit Seatbelts, so it's all be a standard stuff. Let's take a look around the boot. So uh, there's a bit of magic happening in here. So I just pop the boot. Um, so it's all set up for a CTEC courtesy charger. So you've got a charging point there, you've got an isolator there, and then in here is where all of the electronics are. Instead of the wiring harness, this is something called Infinity Box. Um, so it's basically controlling all of the all of the wiring in the car, apart from the engine management system, which is the um, original BMW one that goes with the engine. Um, the great thing about this is, is it takes away all the relays, so that unit on the right actually does all of the up and downy movement stuff. So it's got four electronic, uh, electric windows and central locking. And this one does all the 12 volts to the rear of the car. 
there's another one up the front that does all the 12 volts at the front. So fault finding is really easy because everything's got a discrete circuit, everything's fused individually and it's got LEDs to indicate what's going on. Uh, battery is the new Optima H6 which is what you'd get if you bought an E46 M3 and you want a new battery these days from Optima so it's a pretty hefty battery. It's all pretty neat in there. Electric aerial, 